The Ocean Observatories Initiative, or OOI, is an ocean observing network that delivers freely available, real-time data to address critical ocean science questions. The Endurance Array is operated by Oregon State University as part of the U.S. National Science Foundation, or NSF, Ocean Observatories Initiative, or OOI, a major facility supported by NSF. The Coastal Endurance Array is one of five OOI arrays. It consists of the Oregon Line and the Washington Line. It is managed by Oregon State University's College of Earth, Ocean, and Atmospheric Sciences, or CEOS. So I started having interest in using OOI data when I decided that I wanted to put some sediment traps off the coast of Oregon and learned that OOI has a significant amount of data that I can use to correlate to the organisms that I'm collecting in the sediment traps. I feel very lucky, uh, honestly, to have the, the ability to correlate the data to high resolution information at the same time the shells are forming and growing and settling on this, in, into our cups. We've worked really hard to document our work really well and to be consistent with our methods so that we have a really usable long-term data set for people. What's exciting about it isn't that we're doing something new and different, but that we've been able to continue this long-term observing mission for now 18 cruises. 18 and counting. How exactly is Endurance Array data collected? So it all starts here on a boat with our deployment and recovery. We turn around all of our moorings. Every six months we have to come out here and we have to pick them all up out of the water and put them back in. Uh, the big moorings have a full MET instrumentation suite, so wind speed, air temperature, relative humidity, barometric pressure. It's in the upper 40s, the number of different sensors that are on a particular buoy potentially. So it's a lot of, it's a lot of sensors. Cruises are not only for collecting data, but also great opportunities to educate and offer student experiences. After seeing so many pictures of like OOI in my classrooms, I've learned the applications of what I'm learning in the classroom. And it's really shifted what I want to do with like my oceanography degree, but this is more hands-on and with instrumentation. There's really good opportunities on this trip for uh, grad students to come participate. Even this, if this is not your direct field, we do so many different things and there's access to so much information, it's, it's beneficial and so we'd be happy to have you. It's the fun part, the boat part, is over. We bring it back to Newport and we have to truck it back to our shop in Corvallis. The Ocean Observing Center, or the OOC, is located in Corvallis, Oregon and is the main hub of activity for deconstructing all the equipment that was at sea on the Coastal Endurance Array assessing damage and replacing parts, and testing their capabilities before it's deployment time again. And then putting it all back onto trucks once it's ready to go and back onto a boat to do it all over again. We can go to sea and keep this stuff turned and running. And we do this in fairly difficult places and we're doing it with pretty sophisticated instrumentation, but we want people to use it. That data is safely stored at the OOI Data Center in CEOS. This is where all those ocean measurements from the Endurance Array are kept secure and shareable. We deliver about 10 to 12 terabytes of data to users every month. We make sure that they're secure, that they're protected, that they're available 24-7 to our users, the research community, and anybody else who's interested in taking a look at these data. We've got a lot of infrastructure in place in the data center to, to protect these data and to deliver them and maintain a 24-7 uptime. The OOI Data Explorer is the primary way to access Endurance Array data. Users can search and download data, compare across regions and disciplines, select for specific parameters, and save their own custom views. When it first started, the getting information was a little bit more difficult, and that has changed. I was doing this, I was like, what? This is amazing. So you sort of have this moment where you go, oh, that's what I can get from this data set. I think about anybody who's going out to sea collecting samples, if you don't have all the detailed information from that date, you might be able to get it from OOI. Check out oceanobservatories.org for Endurance Array data from the Oregon and Washington coasts. The Endurance Array is proud and grateful to be part of the National Science Foundation Ocean Observatories Initiative, a major facility supported by NSF.